All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time for Sunday School. <laughs> cool. You might be thinking to yourself, Wait a minute. It's usually Pastor Steve. This is Pastor Steve's week. Who is this guy? Usually it's Yanni, Pastor Steve, Yanni, Pastor Steve, Yanni, Pastor Steve, but who is this guy? Stranger danger. Mom! Help! Right, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dominic. I'm actually Miss Yanni's husband. So today, Pastor Steve is on vacation. He's away enjoying some relaxation. So today you're going to hear from me. Today we're going to be learning about Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. In everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. For this is the law and the prophets. Wait a minute. I thought the golden rule was he who has all the gold makes the rules. What do you mean? Nope. The golden rule is this, to treat others the same way that you would like to be treated. So, giving some examples of that, you can share with other people, you can give to them, speak kindly to them, help them with their homework, sports, listen to them. Um, you can definitely forgive them, and we're gonna talk more about that later. You can pray for them and tell them about Jesus. Of course, that's the most important thing that you can do. And you could also maybe create something for them, draw them a picture, write them a letter. So treating others the way you want to be treated, that's the golden rule. Also, along with that, remember I said we were going to talk about forgiveness. So I'm going to tell you a story about forgiveness in the Bible in Matthew chapter 18, uh, verses 21 through 35. Jesus said, Then Peter came to him, and he said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 77 times. 77 times. So does that mean like the 78th time and every time after that, I don't have to forgive him? No. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> Jesus was saying that you're supposed to continually forgive even though your brother wrongs you as many times as he does because that's the way that God treats us. Let me tell you another story. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he had begun to settle them, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. But since he did not have the means to repay, his Lord commanded him to be sold along with his wife and children and all that he had and repayment be made. So the slave fell to the ground and prostrated himself before him saying, have patience with me and I will repay you everything. And the Lord of that slave felt compassion and released him and forgave him his debt. But then the slave that was just forgiven went out and found one of his fellow slaves who, allowed, who owed him a hundred denarii. And he seized him and began to choke him and saying, saying, pay back what you owe me. So his fellow slave fell to the ground and began to plead with him, saying, have patience with me and I will repay you. But he was unwilling and went and threw him in prison until he should pay back what he owed. So when his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were deeply grieved and, and came and reported to the Lord all that had happened. Then summoning him, his Lord said to him, you wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not also have had mercy on your fellow slave in the same way that I had mercy on you? And his Lord moved with anger, handed him over to the torturers until he should repay all that was owed him. My heavenly Father will also do the same to you if each of you does not forgive his brother from your heart. So it's very important that we forgive one another no matter how, no matter how many times that they have wronged us. So going back to the golden rule, I have a little acronym for you to help you remember how to treat one another. And the acronym's kind of weird. You want to know what it is? The acronym is LAST. Yes, LAST, L-A-S-T. So we want to put God first, people second, and ourselves last. God says that when we do that, he's pleased. Could you imagine if everybody in the world put themselves last and God first? and then their fellow man, the world will be such a better place, right? So the acronym goes like this. We're going to love, 
appreciate, serve, and treasure one another. Okay? So I have a little dance to help you remember, and then we're going to go over each part. All right? Do you want me to say the intro part? All right, cool. So, so now, now here's the dance. It's kind of like the YMCA. Maybe you remember the YMCA, or maybe your parents remember the YMCA, but this is how it goes. Ready? You got to love, appreciate, serve, and treasure. Love, appreciate, serve, and treasure. Love, appreciate, serve, and treasure. So now we're going to go over the different pieces of this acronym. The acronym is LAST. Remember, lur, l uh, love, appreciate, serve, and treasure one another. So love, we want to be patient and kind to everyone, even our enemies, even the people that hate us and talk bad about us and want to do us harm, right? Because that's what God says, to love our enemies, and it's the only way that they'll be changed. So if you want to read more about the full definition of love, ask your parents. 1 Corinthians 13 is where you want to be. So the next one is appreciate. We want to recognize the positive qualities in people and tell them about it. Like, wow, Jonathan, you got such nice shoes. Those are so cool. Something like that, right? So we need to only say encouraging things that build people up. Never say anything mean even if the person deserves it. Never join in with bullying or gossip. Instead, heal them with your kind words. So the next one is serve. We want to help people immediately with whatever they need. If you could see someone that is in need, we want to serve them, which means we want to help them. We want to give them information, food, homework, sports, help them up if they fell down. Whatever they need, whatever type of abilities we have to serve people, that's what God wants us to do. And lastly, treasure. Remember, God values people more than anything in the entire world. He doesn't care much about money or success or any of those things that people care about in this world. He cares about you and he cares about me and he cares about the people of the world, right? So we have to treasure them and value them as more important than ourselves, the, the Bible says. So we want to always forgive people and bring them back to right relationship with God. We never want to tear down. We always want to build up. We never want to return evil for evil because that hinders the work of God. Instead, even if someone is being mean to us, we want to do them good. So remember, last, love, appreciate, serve, and treasure. You'll never forget it, I promise. And make sure you treat others the way you want to be treated. That's the golden rule. Enjoy the rest of your week.